Hello and welcome back everyone to the dumbass class with me, the Dyslexic Gamer. As we carry on with uh, This is the Police. Sorry if you heard that, that was me moving something out of the way of my mouse. So, let us carry on. It is November the 22nd. Any other questions? So how long have you been working undercover? Since February. So you're like, you're like our new sheriff now, huh? Mr. Nash will partly take over management of the department. Some of you will now be his subordinates. Bad news, Cliff. I'm still the sheriff. Well, if you understand everything and there's no more questions, then let's... Uh, oh, oh, wait, I have a question. Uh, when are we going to take that thing down? I meant questions for Mr. Nash. Oh, then I have a question for Mr. Nash. Mr. Nash, when are we going to take that thing down? When are we taking that thing down? We're not taking it down. Sorry, bud. Looks like it's staying up. That's enough. Everybody back to work. It was Sheriff Wells who hung that tapestry here. He said that... He said he made me his first deputy because I was the only one who understood what it says. Well, now there's two of us. Ooh, hello, hello. Right. I drunk too much. I don't think I can hold it together. Okay. You're not very intelligent. Yeah. yeah well, you, you're kind of crap. Yeah. Yeah, go back to Lily then. Or continue. I'm going to go continue because I don't really... I don't know what that does if that's a threat. But he looks shit, so... Yeah. Uh... Penkin. Mr. Nash, I'm so glad to be on your team. Finally, we can get down and do some proper police work. Under the leadership of a real man. Hmm. I'm ready to give it 100%, but there's one thing. I need to go with the guys from my funk band to Ripton to a guitar specialist so he can set up our instruments right we're going to we're getting ready to perform a concert at our cousins <laughs> and I can't cancel it you understand so I'll go quickly today and tomorrow and first thing through the door uh, already already we've got these fucking idiots okay <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies for that. Leaving the station on any task requires cops' energy. When exhausted to the limit, a cop might not show up for work or fall asleep whilst... Oh, fall asleep at the wheel. I could get into an accident. Okay. Or just hold down. You can't just click and... Hmm. Cops are people too, and some of them, for one reason or another, abuse alcohol. For the most of them, they will drink, will have a drink or two if the situation calls for it. But some are such in, ooh, invaluate alcoholics who always show up drunk, too drunk to their shifts and their performance at work is much worse when everyone else is and everyone else is I don't know, if they manage to get the job done in the first place okay ACOC's characteristics are determined and useful they will be in the situation yeah cool each cop can carry several items of equipment the, the cops return the equipment to the department when their shift ends 
The only items that every cop always carries are a revolver and a knife. Why is it not a revolver and handcuffs? Hmm. Or handcuffs just a given? Okay, so. God, we've got some dumb asses. So this dude is definitely going to be one who we'll get rid of. This dude, he's really good at shooting, but he's only got one eye. Hmm, okay. She's not too bad. Yeah, we've got some guys who are, and girls, who are pretty good. Others, not so much. Choose a cop and select equipment. Um, shockers, pepper spray, stun grenades, uh, disappear after use. Tasers expend a cartridge every time they're shot, but can always uh, rely on your baton. Okay. So, it would kind of make sense, I guess, for her to have... Can I not... What I have... I have to auto assign. I seem. Does it just change the load? Oh yeah, it does. It just moves it around. Okay, so she's got a baton and a flash grenade. He's got a flash grenade and a stun grenade. I don't. Pepper spray. He's got a taser and flashbang. No, oh, sorry, pepper spray. Oh, he's got a flashbang. Stun grenade. Okay, I, I guess that's that's cool. Oh wow, these are not all my these are a lot more than five sixteen in progress. Urgent call um uh time sensitive. You need to send your cops out before the time expires. <clears throat> okay. So let's have a look. A uh, small goods bar, a... Okay. Is timer going down? No. A drunken worker um, parked his truck sideways, blocking in, uh, blocking in several cars. When the owners of the cars, other cars, asked him to move, the man climbed into the roof of his truck and ordered the dog's breath. The dogs, be the dogs beneath, to shut their yapping. Okay. Fair enough. So, we need to send out three hundred max. So, what is? But we also want to level up, level up other people. So. Let's send. I don't want you leading it. Sorry, love. Not not leading. Send this this dude, and then let's send her. Can I like look at the characters or no no? Okay, so I can see what they've got. So strength, intelligence, speed, and stun grenade. I would rather them have some other equipment with them. Okay, fine. We'll send them. <laughs> the map's not so good as the one we had before. I do quite like that. Like, can we? Ah! A policeman loudly... Oh, he's got battery. Oh, okay. Send cop to Lily. Okay, so the further up we go, the, um, oh no, because he's, oh, I guess he's got more police connected devices, traps, see further, interrogation. I really hope I don't need to learn all this shit. Like, I hope I can click on the, on him when I need it and be like, hmm, 
What does this cop do? Okay. Lucky shot. Okay. One. Let's see what happens. And as the game goes on, you will get more and more calls and you'll really struggle. A drunk worker is standing on the roof of his truck, pissing on anyone who approaches. Okay. No matter how good your cops are, they can't do it without your orders. Uh, all the difficult situations are on your shoulders. Okay. I wish I'd put sent someone with negotiation. I suppose they are intelligent. When you're deciding how to respond to a particular situation, you have to choose the cop that most that's most suitable for carrying out your orders. Uh, drive into the truck with the patrol car. Shoot the drunk with a taser. You don't have anyone equipped with a taser. Hey, mister, there's a fire over there. We need your help. Five sixteen complete. The drunk <laughs> did that work. <laughs> the drunk worker hurls, hurries to the rescue, jumping from the roof of the truck, without evening fastening his pants. Back on the ground, he was greeted by two cops who easily placed him under arrest. I can't believe that worked. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, with every 50 points of professionality, a cop receives one skill point. Uh, you can spend it as you see fit. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to give strength because I honestly think you need to have more more well-rounded like have one in everything and then specialise um, thanks to the incredible service has earned the battering ram perk the police officer loudly breaks down doors and windows uh, thanks to da -da 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 -da, he gains the perk blow with baton stun criminals Cool. She got one as well, did she? Okay. Well, let's do what I said and let's put one in each. Uh, more perks. I'm not going to read all the perks because I think we still need to accept them. Five fifty one in progress. Oh, we've. Oh no! I think she just gets them. I thought you had to spend points on it. Oh. Hmm. Uh, close. So we've got another one over here, I believe. An attempted robbery. Um, Gamma's funeral house. A girl enters the vault. Stolen urn filled with ashes and tried to escape. <clears throat> she did what now? Okay. Um, let's send this dude and this dude so he can get trained up and then we've got more than enough now I don't know if this is the right way to do this uh, This is I should have said this is a first impression I haven't actually played the game at all, I installed it and recorded it this is what I used to do you know, one good cop, one eh cop to see if we could get them, you know, train them up because they can die Oh yes, they can die. <clears throat> the girl with an urn in one hand is climbing outside through a small storage window. Seeing a cop, she screams, Don't touch me! I'm fulfilling the last wishes of my beloved. Hmm. Her parents would rather die than let me destroy her ashes. 
What? Okay. Convince a girl to reach an understanding with the deceased parents. Grab the girl by the foot. Run out of the funeral home and intercept the girl on the streets. Um, I, um, him doing that. That's a bad idea. I don't want to do it. Great. Great. Continue. Um, okay. <laughs> Fucking fine. Run round and... That's a bad idea. I don't want to do it. That's a bad idea. I don't... You're refusing me? Five fifty one complete. Ah, fuck it. The cop runs outside and approaches the window, but the girl is nowhere to be seen. So if you saw that we each lost some points. He also lost a lot more energy, I don't know why. Um yeah, that wasn't good. Five seventy three in progress. Uh Police in Deceptions? A man in a police uniform is standing at the entrance to the city, showing slow, slowing everyone down and demanding money. Okay. Let's send our best along with the old man. Because that's a real high number. So they should be easily able to do it. So yeah, sadly he did get worse. I, I I messed up with him. These things happen in this game. You you'll have multiple chances to to succeed and fuck up all at the same time. They could speed up the little. Thing. Oh well. And you don't want to use your best cops all the time because then they're you're not getting anyone letting anyone else level up. Um, the man is in the police for uniform. He's standing on the road, counting some money. Uh, hi there, uh, collection. You're going to share your earnings. Um, order him to surrender. Turn on the sirens. Um, order him to surrender with you so you can shoot him. The man in the police uniform ignores the cops and flees across the field. Shoot him. Five seventy three complete. Uh good, they did get. The cop shoots the criminal in the back. <coughs> oh well. But you saw that they actually got a, a bonus to their to their abilities. So I am actually going to do what I said I was going to do and go from the bottom up. Um again I'm not gonna read all these perks, we will Access them later. End of the day. Um, beer can tabs. Traditionally, uh, traditional currency in the sheriff's department. You can get tabs for successfully completing missions and losing them for losing criminals and getting civilians killed. You can spend your tabs on new cops and extra equipment. Okay, mm, not, not too great. Holy fucking moly, 26 tabs? Look, hang on a minute. What? Hmm. Your squad, your staff, can get a new taser. Uh, sorry, a new shocker. We won't. We'll save up. Um, what's your squad? Oh, so this is literally my squad. Does it? 
Oh, I can scroll down. Ah. So I probably could have scrolled down all along. Can I fire him? Close. Your staff. Oh, your staff. Not staff. So we've got... Okay. Right. Okay. We're going to save them. I don't see the point in spending them now. At the end of each day, you have to select a cop that will work tomorrow's shift. The cops. Okay. Well, definitely the ones who didn't work. I'm not going to work every day. No, that's fine. I'm not going to work every day. I'm not going to work every day. And we'll see what he's like. Cop selected 8 out of 12. Okay. Did I select ones that are tired already? I did, but meh. End of the day. Now that is a little bit unfair because we obviously didn't... Excuse me as I get a drink. Um, we obviously didn't... You know, they've... they've they're not going to work every day. Well, I think you fucking will. I, uh, did I miss something? No, no, I just want to move into the office where you were working yesterday. So you, uh, you're moving into a smaller office? I'm moving where I'm more comfortable. That's the office I used to share with Gail. It's, yeah, it's probably too big for me, but it'll be just right for you. Um, uh, can I help? No, no, I, I don't like people pawing my stuff. You could get a bite to eat. I'll be finished in, like, 20 minutes. I can handle this. At least I can handle this. Okay, then I, uh, I'll go down to the dining hall then. Call me if you need me. Ah, Mr. Nash. Glad we have a chance to get acquainted again. This time under better circumstances, huh? Our first meeting didn't go so smooth. <laughs> you really must forgive me, Mr. Nash, for being so rude to you. It was rude of me to arrest you. <laughs> you gotta admit, you don't really look like an undercover cop. Am I right, guys? <laughs> but I didn't hit you too hard. I tried to be... I tried to be delicate with elderly gentlemen. I'm not some kind of monster. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend anyone. You really shouldn't be offended. We're all grown-ups here. Why be offended? Why are you offended, Mr. Nash? I gotta say, I expect more from a senior police officer. Well, I don't know. More... more professionalism, you know? You seem like the kind of guy who sits behind a desk doing paperwork. Am I right, Mr. Nash? That the bathroom? Weren't you gonna drink your coffee, Mr. Nash? You're not incontinent, are you? Mr. Nash, do you have a problem? Is it an age thing, or did I just hit you too hard in the kidneys? If that's the problem, then I apologize, Mr. Nash. I tried. I tried not to hit any vital organs. I like that. Yeah, beat the shit out of him. Beat him. Oh, what? I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together today. Uh, yeah, go back to Lily then. 
Fuck it, he's useless. Go back to the lead. Um, are you sure you want to get rid of this cop permanently? After today's shift, he will be Lily's problem, but you won't be getting a free substitute. Okay. So we have to keep them until we can get rid of them. My young sister is studying at the police academy in Greenwichburg. She has an important exam coming up. Can I work with her today? Get the girl up to speed. What's exam on? Shooting. Yes. Mr. Nash, yesterday I had a great tip trip to Ripton. Thanks for letting me go. The guitar specialist was a real master. Now my axe... Now our axes are roaring like the stadium masters. Oh, oh, for crying out loud. Unfortunately, our drummer, Lenny, lost his sticks during the trip. And they were special sticks. <sighs> Carved from... Grinitzberg's Black Oak. He made them himself. Can you imagine? Anyway, we need to go get into the woods and find the right kind of oak, cut it down, get it cut, uh, get it cut enough sticks that Lenny can throw them off the stage and not be all cheap about it. So you'll have to manage without me now, but tomorrow I'll work a double shift, I, I promise, you prick. I'll remember you, weasel. God, look at that pillock. Fucking 15. God. Uh, can I actually assign this shit? Ah, so I can. Right. Strength. Strength. In fact, look, this fucking auto is auto. Why would you not give out those those items? Has everyone got an item? Okay, everyone has an item. Well, give him that then. Oh, no. Uh, signed. Uh, so you can't add more to their gear. It recently. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Hmm. Twenty in progress. Bank of Shepwood. An elderly man wants to take a loan out to kill his wife. For forty years of marriage, she's been nothing but boring. But you don't even care. You give loans to bloodsuckers all day. He continues arguing with the bank clerk, and when the elderly man finally was finally denied credit, he made a scene and lowered his pants to teach the lesson to the corrupt bank. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now this is where we've got difficulties, because you can see it's 355. Well, I have to send two officers to that. Now we either send... No, I'd have to send two officers. Or I send one of our good guy, good officers. You've got intelligence. Sure. Oh no, that's still not enough. So she could go on her own. She could go on her own. Oh no, that is enough. What am I on about? Sure, send him. Hopefully one cop is enough. It's a little old man. I mean, okay, yeah, it's an old man who's taking his pants down, but still. And this is very much how it was in the previous game with the uh, <laughs> with the graphics. They are enhanced. They are better. The old man, um, his trousers down, is sat on a table, squatting and groaning. I was refused a loan as a regular customer, so I'm ready to make a special deposit. 
here it comes, just a sec. Grab, uh, Gramps, put your sagging ass back in your pants or I'm going to kick it. Restrain the old man, sneak up on the old man. Um, he does have stealth. Sneak up on the old man. 520 complete. The cop manages to stealthily sneak up to the pantsless old man and arrest him. Wow, that was a big increase. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it kind of was. 30. Uh, I'm going to give him one in shooting. Good man. But we do need to make sure we're leveling people up. Like in my last, in the other one. Uh, from Artsvix, Artsvats, Vast, Madrin, Mr. Nash. Out back behind the station, one of our snow drifters, snow drifts started melting and the legs of some half-decayed corpse appeared. What are we supposed to do? Should we dig him out and search him, or call the guys from the morgue and let them do it? Better make up your mind quick before the cops start... <coughs> Excuse me. The corpse starts to stink. No, dig him out and search. Okay, dig him out and search. 538 in progress. Uh, Cinnamore Street? Sycamore Street? Uh, Wendy Paradot heard two loud shots in the street and now she's afraid that bandits will break into her house to kill her and her husband. Okay. Uh... I'd like to send him so he gets some points as well. Let's go 290, 290. There we go. Yes, it's three, but they've all got full energy, so hopefully this will work out. Now, it used to be you'd do shifts, so you'd do half a day with one group and half a day with another group. I, We might get that later on. Code I. A code I. If the criminal has already dis disappeared from a scene of a crime, uh, a full investigation will have to be opened. For this kind of job, a cop's speed and accuracy are unlikely to help. You need employees with brains. Okay. So we have one here, do we? Okay. So... Well, I guess you're up. Oh, I didn't read... Sorry, guys, I didn't read what it said there. Message shooting 536... 38. What's that? Oh, there weren't any gunshots. The two loud uh, backfires came from Mrs. Paradit's neighbor's moped. He built one that runs on a mixture of alcohol and manure. Uh, you see a piece. You see the piece of diesel. I don't. I don't need it if I've got to pay that much. Well, whatever. That was a weird sentence in my brain. So you will get fo false calls. You have to judge if it's going to be a false call or not. Uh, Snowdrift. Oh, this idiot did it, did he? Nash, we pulled the filthy corpse out of the snowdrift, searched his pockets, but they were all empty. I suggested the boys at least get his boots off. 
They looked good as new, but as soon as we untied one of the shoelaces, it started stinking so bad that I had to throw up. I need to go home and rest for a while. Better draw those boots in... Drown those boots in... Uh, bleach before you give them to anybody. You disgusting piece of shit. You have received leather boots. I should have let the morgue deal with it. I don't. You've got some valuables, but nowhere to keep them. You'll have. To, you'll just have to leave them in the corridor until you find a better place to put them. Maybe you'll be lucky, and no one will walk off with them. Oh. <laughs> Oh, terrible. In progress. Uh, Kinder... Gartin? A woman reports that her baby, along with her stroller, were taken. Were taken while she was picking up her older daughter from kindergarten. I literally turned away for a second. I was helping someone put on his scarf and then the stroller had di just disappeared. I reckon that's just like, I don't reckon that's a real crime, I reckon it's just rolled off somewhere. But I'll send these two out, sure. Sure, let's send them out. Just in case, you know. So I think you can send loads of people out on, on jobs and kind of hoard XP like that. It's not always the greatest. Um, outside the kindergarten, there's a man who looks like a drug addict. He's pushing a baby stroller. Uh, hey Pops, what's your baby's name? Pull in front of him, turn on your sirens. We've got strength, intelligence, shooting. Hey Pops, what's your baby's name? And we have Tim Drip, why not? Rather than answer, the man ditches the stroller and runs down a narrow passage. Shoot a taser at him. Do we have someone with a taser? I think we've just got no. Um chase after him sure. complete. oh no bollocks the cops uh, hurry after the suspect but he got tripped up on an abandoned stroller and fell flat on his face the only thing he managed to escape oh well that's that's how it goes like that's how the game works I just didn't take in the, the stroller into account. In I should have gone with something else. Smelly goose bar. I wanted them to return just in case. Uh, the bartender is complaining that an old disabled man is standing near the entrance to the bar, selling homemade alcohol. Be careful with him. I think he's only pretending to be crippled. Okay. Sure. Listen. That seems a bit much, but fine. I don't think we're going to be going for much longer. Um, Vanessa Flower Potts investigates some of the witnesses and prepared a preliminary uh, report for the secret of the pink chewing gum open the investigation Ugh, you don't have enough information right now okay so we need to we need to get some more things so what we know so far is a schoolboy Tommy Moore put his video game in his backpack Tommy Moore along with another boy leaves uh, Elmer's house the plumber. Uh, Luke Hindenburg hit the owner of the house in the head with a wrench. This is very 
Luke uh, Hidder shakes hands with the owner of the house and leaves. Okay. Do you know what? For now, we're going to leave it because I'm going to have to read the report again later. Mr. Nash, it's good that, that your guys got started working on the investigation so soon. The cops in Shepwood aren't as bad as everyone says. I'm not a poor man, but sometime someone stole something from my home. They steal the most valuable things of all, the sense of security. Today they took your video game player. Tomorrow they'll take your wife. By force. You know what that means? I can't allow this. So I'm ready to do whatever it takes to bring them justice. I have a small business for installing water supply systems in homes. Is that the dude who came to... Them? In other words, we install toilets. Yes, it is. So homeowners don't have to do their business outdoors. Here's what I propose. If you put your best people on this and solve the investigation, then in return I'll install a brand new toilet for all the cops in the area. You can't imagine how grateful the guys will be. Do you think they like freezing their asses off outside, especially when it's late? Wow, that's a mouthful. I have probably recorded too many videos today, so this will probably be the last one, I think. It's been a long one. You know, I said I was going to try and do longer episodes for you of this. And I am. And I will. Who wants some moon sh <laughs> some witch moonshine? The old in... Invalid? In back. Yeah, Invalid. Is hocking his wares, shaking his crutches in the air. It'll turn any cripple into a man. People are gathering around, hoping for a taste. Take a swig, or the old man to close up his shop, uh, restrain the cripple. Um, order the man to close up shop. I should have probably restrained him, but the crippled man accepts the situation and surrenders to the police. Good. Whilst his customers uh, grumble and moan. Excellent. Well, let's give you strength. I'm sure doing it for everyone, like like having specialists, is good as well. I just feel it's important to spread the love. Hmm, their energy is quite low. Hmm, can we speed this up out of curiosity? Because th this bit is a bit... Hmm, I'm going to invest time into chatting. End of the day. Okay, ten tokens. We lost three. Sorry, thirteen. We lost three. Excellent. Excellent. So we have ten. Oh, and they change every time. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to spend five tokens... Is there any point though? I mean, if I save up tomorrow, I could get a guy like him who has a full. Yeah, let's. Because I do have more people. Like, not everyone worked today, so. Let's risk it. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Okay, so, you, 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 and you. We'll take you, and we'll take you. That gives us nine out of our twelve. I think that will work. No, I think it goes over into a. I think it goes over into a um, a thingy majigger, a wopsamabuba. 
it goes over to the day. So at this point and at the checkpoint, I'm going to end this episode off. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of uh, This Is The Police uh, 2. And I'm looking forward to the next one, where hopefully our character will beat the shit out of some more asshole policemen, because I did enjoy that. With a broom. Awesome. Uh, a mop, actually. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. So take care, everyone, and as always, bye-bye for now.